since we took our first adventure with The Goonies. In celebration of this iconic film, 22 Vision caught up with Chunk, Data, Brand, Andy, Steph, Mouth, and Mikey. But before we get started... First you gotta do the truffle shuffle. Come on! Do it! <laughs> the role of Chunk was played by 10-year-old Jeff Cohen. The cherubic youngster with the big smile beat out hundreds of other kids to land the role of the energetic Goonie with a big appetite. You're even hungrier than I am. Jeff has since put down the baby Ruths and Rocky Road and is in killer shape today. The Cal Berkeley and UCLA Law School graduate is now a successful entertainment attorney in Los Angeles. Captain Choke! Captain, Esquire, and also author. Jeff's book, The Dealmaker's Ten Commandments, hits shelves this summer. I got it! I don't got it. After landing his role in The Goonies, Jeff came down with the chicken pox. In fear of being fired, he successfully hid his condition from the cast and crew. You did However, if you look closely during the truffle shuffle scene, you can clearly see the spots on his stomach. You mean booby traps. That's what I said, booby traps! Quiet! Art James Bond, part Inspector Gadget. Jonathan Key Kwan's data and his wild inventions helped the Goonies escape from the evil Fratellis. No stranger to adventure, Kwan was also known to audiences for playing short round in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Okie dokie, Dr. Jones, hold on to your potatoes. After earning his film degree from USC, Jonathan now works behind the scenes as an editor, Foley artist, and producer. With a martial arts background, Jonathan has also worked on numerous films as a stunt choreographer. In his acting debut, Josh Brolin played Brandon Walsh. No, not that Brandon Walsh. This Brandon Walsh. The oldest of the group, Brand was on board for the adventure, even if his focus wasn't at 100%. Shame, shame! No, you're <laughs> Since the Goonies, Josh has established himself as one of Hollywood's most respected leading actors, with memorable performances in No Country for Old Men and Milk, for which he received an Academy Award nomination. Great. Does Brown wear braces? <laughs> Andy and Steph are two female Goonies, were played by Carrie Green and Martha Plimpton. The piano-playing, love-struck cheerleader and her snarky best friend were both unknowingly dragged into the epic treasure hunt. Post-Goonies, Carrie Green continued to act, starring in the John Candy film, Summer Rental, and alongside Corey Haim and Charlie Sheen in the high school flick, Lucas. After graduating from Vassar College, Carrie shifted her focus to her true passion, art. Today, the beautiful artist resides in New York with her family, and we're told she sometimes still plays a little piano on occasion. I hit the wrong note. I'm out of direction, you know. After her Goonie adventure, Martha Plimpton shined in the popular films Parenthood and Running on Empty. Today, the talented actress continues to perform in film, television, and on stage. Most recently, Martha earned acclaim for her portrayal of Virginia Chase on the successful Fox show Raising Hope. A bottle of Vittichina and Antinated Warm. Mouth was played by veteran child star Corey Feldman. A true 80s icon, Corey starred in a number of classic films like Stand By Me, Gremlins, The Lost Boys, and License to Drive. Today, the eccentric actor resides in Los Angeles at his home he calls the Feld Mansion with his many girlfriends, AKA Corey's Angels. While continuing to be a presence in pop culture, Corey is also pursuing a music career as a solo artist. Shut up, Mel. Shut up, Mel. That brings us to the leader of the group, Mikey, played by then newcomer Sean Astin. Being the oldest son of Patty Duke and John Astin, Sean was no stranger to the entertainment world. After his breakout role in The Goonies, Sean has continued to act steadily for the past three decades. Memorable turns include the title role in the classic sports film Rudy and Samwise Gamgee in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. But to us, Sean will always be the young boy who outsmarted One-Eyed Willie. Man, I beat you. Speaking of which, ever wonder what happened to One-Eyed Willie? The prop skeleton, that is. Well, after filming Wrapped, director Richard Donner decided to keep Willie's head as a souvenir. 
30 years later, this piece of cinematic history resides on the desk in Donner's Beverly Hills office. So there you have it. 30 years later, and the Goonies have all grown up into fine adults. But the big question is, will there ever be a sequel? Or should we finally let that rumor die? Goonies never say die! And hey, visit 22vision.com to catch up with the cast from other classic films and TV shows.